welcome back to another Twitch YouTube combination. I don't know. We're, we're just Legacy Cuban. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to open Karn Father. That's a good guy. Got an Elspeth here. That's pretty good. Got a Mother of Runes. Missed a lot of years in school. I like... Okay, so seriously, if you didn't say it, I wouldn't have known. So I would... You know, that's a compliment for you. I, I would not have known, actually. I, I had, at no point did I get your impression that the impression that your English was not great. So, good on you. Good on you. I'm going to take this Karn, I think. Can we just be green this time? I feel like I just want to draft green decks that do broken things. Like this Sakura Tribe Elder. Tracker? You think the Tracker is the best card ever pre -aunted? No, you're crazy. I think Sakura Tribal Elder might be one of the better cards in this pack. Sakura Tribal Elder is, is a pretty high high power pre card. card. Also, somehow my, my mic levels reset at some point. I don't know when. But... Uh, I might have been clipping at certain points. I don't know if you guys know what clipping is. When you're when you're using a mic, clipping means it goes to like the highest point and it actually cuts out a little bit at the top and it gets like a, a staticky like feedback. It's not enjoyable for a listener. So if it, if it was clipping at all, I apologize. Um, I'm gonna take this chromatic lantern. This pack is stacked though. Frost Titan, Inferno Titan, Revelation, Ulamog. I'll even take a Lana War Elves. All you have to do is click all attack or attack all every turn and you win. Yeah, that's actually a good point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. I like a stone forge. This is a late stone forge mystic, and there are there is a jitte and a bunch of swords in this cube. I'm not sure what to take, though. You guys can hear my clothes aren't reset to zero, right? Yeah, I, I lowered the I lowered the mic, for sure, for sure. I don't know why I said for sure, for sure, but let's. I'm gonna take Stoneforge. I think it's the strongest card in this pack, which is why it's banned in modern. It's just not safe. It's not a safe card in modern. J.K. It's totally safe in modern. We do turn four scape shift and turn three Karns in modern, so. Maybe you need more mics around you to normalize. I don't think I think I think more mics is not the answer here. Oh my god, you guys! I thought you raised. <laughs> oh, all right, and that's how you can tell the stream should end, and we're done. What do I take here? Tendy shoot dryad. I'm gonna take the tender shoot dryad. This card actually overperformed every time I had it in my deck, and I was like, wow, this is surprisingly good. I don't care about you yet. I could be any of these other beautiful colors. Any of these other beautiful colors. I'm just taking Sylvan Advocate. Could also ramp to Martial Coup, but the problem with ramping is that like a lot of your a lot of your ramp is gonna be creatures. Jack Ryan gave me my first bits, had to Google how to give them to you. Cobra Laserface, really appreciate it though. I'm glad you went to the effort to do so. Hmm. Just put one Tron land in the queue. I'm going to take this guy. This guy's also pretty good. I have no reason to go in other colors right now. Cobra. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. That's a gentleman. That is... Eating cookie dough ice cream watching Frank the Tank drafting. It's only 10 a.m. What a time to be alive. Where is it 10 a.m.? Where are you, Franconic Disciple? Australia? These glasses are filthy. Absolutely filthy. New Zealand! Wow, I feel bad for saying Australia now. Oh, a Garuk? Nailed it. Franconic Disciple, can you tell me what it's like on September 25th? Is it just as exciting as September 24th? 
Should I stream with glasses on or without glasses on? I don't need them because I'm nearsighted, but is it nearsighted or farsighted? I don't know. I can't tell what's better. I don't like wearing glasses when I don't have to. If the if the Land of Worlds comes back, I would be pretty grateful. Without glasses on, hard to see your eyes. You don't need to see my eyes. Don't even worry about that. We could take Stoneforge and play Angel of Serenity. Nearsighted means you can't see far away. I am nearsighted. Yes. Handsome librarian dad. All right, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, these are some these are some some Ray Ban Club Masters. Pretty classic. Pretty classic. Marshall Coup. I was actually hoping that would come back because you know what? It's not terrible. Alright. It looks like we can be white green. You put the glasses on and now I want to know when your novel comes out. Well. You'll just have to you know what? I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm gonna take the tooth and nail. I think, Angel of Serenity, Tender Shoot. Yeah, it's fine. We can get we can get more. Elves of Deep Shadow is the only thing I really care about missing here. I'm gonna take this guy. Did both the Frost and Inferno Titans come back? That's crazy. I'm nearsighted. My doc says I should wear my glasses on PC to avoid any further degradation of my vision. Oh wow, that's rough. Did you tell him to shut up? Hey, Doc, why don't you shut up? You ever think about that? With your stupid degree? Yeah, I didn't think so. Why don't you shut up again? I'm going to take this Courser of Crufix. We're running low on three drops, so I feel like that's a good choice. Oh, Woodfall Primus? Hopefully this guy comes back. If this guy comes back, we are in, uh, we are on Easy Street. With the glasses, you look like you're going to ask how many parts per million gluten are in our brownies. Um, well, you really ruined the second part of the stream, didn't you? Twister6911, can you tell us, um, are Swedish fish a thing in Sweden, or is it just an American thing? My mom lives in Sweden. I have to mail them to her. That's actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Here you go. All right, now I'm going to take them off because they're they're heavy on my face. Hunter, what are you doing, dude? Being a cutie? Yeah, I know. It's a hard life, buddy. It is a hard life for a cutie. I guess we can just take Wood Elves here. Fertile Ground is really good with Garrick, though. It's also a two drop. Yeah, I kind of like I kind of like Fertile Ground better. Excuse me. Uh, Glare is actually probably pretty good in this deck. I don't like Glare in general, but we are in the colors for it, so I think we're gonna take the Glare, and we're gonna take this Deranged Hermit. Oh, we also had Arbor Elf for it. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh. Search tomorrow or banishing light. Hmm. 
Stoneforge is not great. Marshall Coop. Like, we don't actually need to be white here, to be honest. We could be anything we want. I'm going to take the search because of that reason. Like, we could be blue. Yeah, Elves of Deep Shadow came back. That's pretty okay. Yeah, Song is great. I'll just play Song in the main deck. That is 100% fine. On Burial Rites? Sure. I kind of like a Johnny here because we can go Tender Shoot Dryad or Deranged Tournament and like just make go real wide. I think our deck looks okay. I feel like it's missing some things, but. I actually don't hate it. What's my general impression of upcoming Ravnica? I was more excited before I went over the full spoiler. Once I went over the full spoiler, I was just like... There's like 30 playable cards in the set. Which is a lot, but it's not a lot at all. Uh, Just take Swords of Plow Shares here. We're missing a Crater Hoof. 100% missing a Crater Hoof. I feel like that's just life. Like, Court of Calling's fine, but, like, Woodfall Primus is going to cost, like, 11. These guys cost 8. At that point, I'd rather just Tooth and Nail. I'm pretty sure we just take Swords to Plowshares. We don't have to be white, though. <sighs> Not thrilled about it. Also, Stoneforge Mystic, we have zero swords. It might just be Cord. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, let's go with Cord. We said we had... We can go Hermit into Cord, which is pretty strong. Rampant Growth also pretty fine. Like, we want to be able to ramp into Garrick, I think. Yeah, Council's Judgment is really good. I don't really care about Wolfier Silverheart. Well, a Leshnorn is a thing that we can get with Tooth and Nail. I like Rexage. It's pretty solid. It isn't a Leshnorn, though. I think we're a Leshnorning. Temple Garden. Yeah, that's good. I'm pretty sure we committed to, uh, to White here. That's a good Gideon. Ooh, is this a good a Johnny? I actually don't know. Can you pronounce Aleshnorn? Aleshnorn? How did, how's it? Aleshnorn? How's it supposed to be said? Elishnorn? Do they put the emphasis on, like, the, the hard emphasis on the N? Elish, Elish? Do they play, They say, like, Elishnorn? I say Aleshnorn. Aleshnorn. It's, I don't know. Now it's just one of those words that when you say re repetitively, it just sounds weird. Yeah, I'll just take the, I'll just take the Planeswalker. Wow. That is a late sword, which kind of validates our Stoneforge Mystic, but we also have a Stern Wildwood in here. Do you intend to yield? Because if not, he's good. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're going to be doing a lot of yielding, so I don't know if this is really the place for you, buddy. Sorry. As opposed to stirring Wildwood, I don't want to. I don't want land that comes into play tapped. I'll just take the sword. Verdant Catacombs can get Temple Garden. That's actually oh, but Marari's Wake, boys and girls. I'm just gonna take the Marari's Wake. That's pretty strong. I'm gonna take the Assembled Legion, and maybe we'll splash it off this Bloodstained Mire. Probably not doing that. Sun Petal Grove comes back. All right. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I'll take this Nickel Bolas because y'all y'all have no respect. I don't foresee us playing Seeker of the Way, but mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eh, you're fine. Yeah, that's fine. This one's gonna be the last pick, uh, Hell Rider. Enjoy. All right, this deck seems pretty sweet. I'm okay with it. We did take out like, I kind of like Angel of Serenity in here somewhere. We can't cord for it though. We can tooth and nail for it, but I really, really get a tooth and nail for Angel of Serenity. I don't know. It's just nice to get three of your creatures back. Put them in the. Put them in the thing. I don't really care about Sylvan Advocate. It's just literally a two three. Eh. Fauna Shaman, eh. And I think this is actually a 16 land deck. We have two of these guys, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And we took the search. And this. Yeah, this is a 16 land deck. Did we take a Verdant Catacomb? Did we take something over the Verdant Catacomb? Twister with the sub? Man, what a turnaround. What a what a crazy turnaround. Frank takes the Nickel Bullets for the White Green deck. I don't know what else I expected. <laughs> well, all right. Everything's par for the course here. Oh, it was Wake Over Catacomb. All right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's a fine choice. I support my decision. This redemption arc is very satisfying. I agree. I'm having a good time. I think 10, 10 4 is fine. That's a 10 4, good buddy. Like, we have plenty of ways to fix the, the white. We also have Fertile Ground, Lotus Cobra, Ramp and Gross, Secure Tribe Builder, uh, and Search for Tomorrow, and Chromatic Lantern that get us white. So that's like six sources of non land mana. Whereas we do want a, a forest on turn one. Yeah, I think the I think the why do people still play incorrectly play blank in their non-blank decks? I think that meme is still solid. I support it. Yeah, I'll keep this. Really? Really search for tomorrow. This is how you're going to be? Real mature. Why are you playing Chromatic Lantern in your non-door to nothingness deck? Well, so that's a valid question. Um, I don't know. This is an aggressive start. I'm not, I'm not thrilled with this. I also don't want to ramp you. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Hmm... One, two, three, get a white. We have two mana left over. We're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. It's aggressive. We can't cast this yet. Okay. We can cast this, but then we don't really get a land the next turn. I really just want to hit a land. I'm just going to cast this. Get our second white. First cube draft, blue, white, two, one. Nicely done, sir. I'm always happy with a 2-1. I mean, I think that's a pretty reasonable expectation for any match of magic that uh, that you play. I mean, magic has variance, whatever. You win more than you lose, and you break even. So, cool. Yep. There's a lot of things happening. It's going to be a land anyway. I knew it. You don't do anything, right? x dude? We can do that next turn. Mm-hmm. 
Come at me, bro. Oh, no come at me's. That's nice. I will actually sacrifice you. We just have more things to do right now. So, do you get lands? All non-land permanents revealed this way. Hmm, fascinating. We could go lantern into judgment, just get rid of the precinct captain. Which I kind of like. Because then we're one turn away from uh, Woodfall Primus. Also, just get rid of this, but this is actually probably a little stronger. Yikes. Well, we're definitely Song of the dryads in that. Just bought two pounds of strawberries for $2.08 all in one sitting. Wow, that's a lot of strawberries. Two pounds is no joke. Uh, I think we're just going to with Johnny Unyield here. I wish I gained life. I feel like a six-man planeswalker. I should be really gaining life here. Would you agree that Gregory Saltar are the best color combinations in the upcoming standard based on what? Um, <coughs> I think they're very strong. Yes. I, I do not disagree that they are very, very strong. I, off the top of my head, cannot think of a stronger color combination, but uh, I also haven't delved too deeply. I think the green-white is probably pretty good too, but I don't know. Standard could look really different. Okay, that guy's really powerful against the mostly mono-green deck. And now you're going to get rid of my Johnny. If we can draw one land to Woodfall Primus here, I'm going to have a good time. Apparently, they completely got rid of the free subs on Student Primes. Here's ba D Baller Donk. Thank you so much for the for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. Man, you get strawberries, I get bits. I accept this uh, this arrangement. Yep, a little scared of this guy. A little scared. think we're dead in two turns don't actually know how to deal with it i found a way to deal with it okay we we did a thing we did a goodness wow that was lucky lucky lucky, lucky. i mean this is where they just put a sword on it right okay the scrap heap scrounger not a not a concern If you attack a Johnny, I will also feel pretty good about it. You're probably just going face, though. Yep, that's pretty good. Don't... Oh, my God. Is that good, too? Woof! They could have Revoke, or they could have... They could have Remove Soul, or they could have Negate. Hmm. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. We can we can play around four spike. I guess we're just hoping they don't have a counter spell, right? Oh, they didn't have it. I think we we're just eight, nine, seven, until they're I mean, this is twenty damage. They kill this. We still have a squirrel to block. No perms. Oh my god. I just I came just in time for the skill stream. <laughs> oh lord. Well, that is a thing. I kinda wanna bring Deck and Stone just for the Mirror and Crusader. 
That guy is not pleasant. Marshall Koo, also not bad if they're going wide with their guys. Mother of God. Lush Norn, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hell of a drug. I'm going to put this over here. Take the song, bring in deck. I can see bringing in Marshall Koo, but we do have a lot of guys that we don't actually want to kill, like Dryad, Hermit. So. I don't actually hate this hand. Because we can cast anything, and I just hope those are good things that we get. Well, problem is, it's going to be a land. That's okay. We predicted this. We knew this was coming. Okay, that's a, that's a dude. That's a hermit. Here comes a wasteland. They're going to... Wasteland our Sun Petal Grove in our three color deck. Okay, that's. It's okay. It's okay. Court of Calling seems pretty decent. We take take five. And we take seven. That's 12. We go to five. But then we're going to have a pretty reasonable thing. Gonna play this guy. Next turn, we're gonna have a lot of things to do. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have six mana. We're gonna draw a primeval titan. There's no primeval titan in our deck. We're gonna draw. Doesn't matter. Oh god. Oh, that card is extremely frustrating. Where's a Vivian Reed when you need one? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Oh my god. Sublime Archangel is just kind of a joke in this cube, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We can cord for something that costs three. We can just play this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So actually we're dead on board, right? They just attack us with everything. We almost have to play Hermit here. And then they got to, like, we just hope they don't play two creatures to kill us with Sublime Archangel. Can we get, what can we get with our Deranged Hermit? Like, even Lesh Norn doesn't kill this. Ugh, gross. And they played three creatures. Seems good. I'm having a good time against sublime archangels, yeah. Ba -do 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 -do. Well, we had plenty of removal. Glare would have been an answer. We had a lot of things to do. I'm just going to submit. Good memoirs. Good, not great. Now. <laughs> Kiki Combo, thank you so much for the sub. Not a big fan of your uh, your existence, but I do appreciate your, your subscription, so. Turn three Garrick on the play. Good memoirs. Not great, but good. They would have to play three creatures, he said, not knowing that Wizards... Every game with this guy? Come on. Come on. Why are you like this? Alright, we haven't seen any removal other than Banishing Light, so just don't have a Banishing Light. No problem. I 
That's not it. That'll do. That will do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we just play that? Play that Exile the Mentor? Or we could Deccan Stone Mentor and... Nah, we're just untapping. One, two, three, four, five, six. A Johnny. Let's get rid of this dude. And now you can't actually kill Garrick anyway. You can kill a Johnny if you'd like. One, two, three, four, five. Any land, and we can Woodfall Primus one of their lands, which is pretty strong. Unfortunately, we can't hit lands off of a Johnny Unyielding. However, hitting a Karn is, is pretty okay. I'll block. 100% block. Don't even try me. They didn't try me. Oh, a search for tomorrow. Come on, hits. Hey, that's that's not too bad. I'm okay with this. Put a fertile ground here. <clears throat> you gonna stop me? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about that? Nothing. Didn't think so. Hmm. I think this game is pretty much locked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. 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 I think White Weenie is better when the, the opponent doesn't have multiple planeswalkers on board. One, two, three. No. One, two, make a white. And untap this and these. We'll play a Johnny first. And then we'll just play a search. Actually, do we even need to play search? I don't know. How many Johnnies can we have? A lot. Many Johnnies. I'm actually going to suspend this in case they do want to play some uh, Armageddon shenanigans so no attacks costs what do you got here a little nimble obstructionist restoration angel yeah that's fine you can't kill anything <clears throat> yeah in general it goes in the white aggro deck All right, I see. I see how you're gonna be. Is this the Garrick you wanna kill? Probably. No, that Garrick, okay. I accept. I mean a Johnny. That's what I meant, not Garrick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. We do actually have to untap this guy. Uh, Woodfall Primus in this Ajani is actually pretty insane because we get to, uh, add 1-1 one, one counters when it persists and then just keep it alive forever. 5, 6, 7, 8. Play this guy. Kill your island. Play a land. Deck and stone the floaty boy. And we put counters on. Regain life. This guy is a three. This guy's a six six though. Yeah, I'll just gain two here. I don't see a reason for Johnny to go down here just to make this a 7-7 seven, seven and this a 4-4. Four, four. It's just uh, this guy blocks both of these fine. And even if this is a 4-4, four, four, it's still going to die to either one of these with double strike. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Scrap Heap Scrounger. That is not... Uh, that is not a dude we care about. It is unfortunate they got rid of our engine, though, which is the Ajani Unyielding, but that's life, you know? Don't be a land. <laughs> okay, well, you're not a land. <clears throat> Do we just get a Leshnorn here? Oh, God. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think the game is over now, unfortunately. For them... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Now we'll just put some counters on these things. Oh boy. Oh boy. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. I'm okay with everything that just happened right there. <coughs> was that lucky? Was it? I mean, we were just in fine shape anyway. I wanted to see a thick cat boy. <laughs> I, I assume you mean an avatar, but you know, a thick cat boy is fine. I will play first. This hand is fine. Glad we took that quarter calling, huh? I think we rampant growth here just to get it out of the, just to thin the deck a little bit. Unless we draw like Garrick and we can suddenly get value off of the fertile ground. Kind of want to minimize the number of lands we draw here, so get planes. That was the best card you could draw other than Lesh itself. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Can't really argue with that. <clears throat> Tender shoot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on their turn, ten on our turn. This seems very good against the blue-green deck. I imagine they might not have an answer for this other than stealing it. And then we're just going to draw Council's Judgment so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're just going to kill their island. Yeah, that's pretty strong. And I guess we hope they don't have days. Turn four would fall Primus. Fair format. Wow! Force of Will. Exile and Cryptic Command? Oof. Gross. So we know you haven't... Wow, that was... That's something right there. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good card. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just pass the turn and we get to flip. Not flip, but uh, get the city's blessing. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's real good against the red, the the blue green deck. You just made three threes every turn. Why is this even a... Why is that even a thing? One, two, three, four, five. I'm probably going to Council's Judgment this Nissa at some point. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, so we can play any seven drop and a Council's Judgment. We make two three threes a turn. Like, I'm not sure how that's reasonable. And if they play control magic, we're just going to literally Council's Judgment it. Yeah, that's fine.
You plus this chase? I would be surprised. Didn't think so. You can have harmonize. One, two, three, four, five. You make a Maloku. I don't care about that. Give me something good. Harmonize is put into their hand. Yep. Figured as much. Well, that's about enough of that. Let's have three blockers. So we can go Jace, Jace, face. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack Jace, attack Jace, attack your face. And if you double block, I'll counsel judgment this guy, so it's not really. Do I care about this Nissa flipping? Kind of. I mean, the biggest issue I have is that uh, they have to harmonize and play a control magic in the same turn if they have it. If they top deck a control magic, it's pretty bad because they just steal this guy. But, like, we have five three threes, and this would only be a two two, and they don't have the city's blessing yet, so. Sure. <laughs> Deal. And game. All right. Tender, tender shoot dryad, really getting the job done. Card is not real. I guess it's real. We could bring in Sword and Stoneforge. I don't hate that. I'm hoping they don't have opposition. Take out the good Johnny. Seems fine. Uh, I will keep this hand. Yikes. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty good. Did not think you would counter this guy. I will get a second white source, though. Try to play Chromatic Lantern around days or... Yeah, that seems pretty nuts. Okay. I'm always gonna put a planeswalker by itself, I think. Like into the Royal and Thrag Tusk are fine, but like I don't really care about them. They're just dirty things. Yep. Into Thrag. Like Nissa's actually Probably pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have thirteen mana next turn. We could actually almost go Woodfall and a Leshnorn if we hit one land. Actually, no, we have to hit two lands. Oh, they entered the royal, my thing. One, two, three, four, five. Try again. Uh, 
vote you off the island. Kind of funny, they only have one green source outside of Sylvan Carry added. Yeah, that's fine. I have a Leshnor in hand. So, one, two, three, four. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to play this for a second. That's actually so good for us right now because they don't have that in hand anymore. Or they tapped out, rather. That's what. That's why I wanted to be off the board. Sure. So we know they have Thrag Tusk, which I don't really care about. Now carry out it heals us for two a turn. <laughs> oh god. Marari's Wake is not a reasonable card. Um Yeah, I guess we're just attacking. They have three mana up. Like, if you want to take 14, that's totally fine. Oh, God. Gross. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll play a Johnny Unyielding first. See if we hit anything good. Literal whiffs, but I don't want to draw any of these either, so... Have no problem with paying for this next turn either, so... These are my 5-5 five, five squirrels. <laughs> oh, gas, dude. I mean, they could upheaval here. Doesn't seem great for them. Actually, it's not bad, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 mana. Float 8. Upheaval. Play a land. Play a Sylvan Carry added. And they don't do that. They just lose the game. Okay. Yeah, that'll... Uh, well, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. Our deck is sweet. I'll tap two lands and pay the echo. Seems good. Damn, Johnny don't yield at all, do we? <laughs> Damn, Johnny yield a little bit. God. This hand is fine, I guess. We can actually sack the Tribe Elder uh, to get a land, or we can just tap it for Court of Calling. <gasps> so exciting. Guys, what should I have for dinner tonight? Should I go get some vegetarian Thai food? Wow, really? You're going to out mana me right now? This is how you're going to do? This is how you're going to do me? Okay. Okay. I eat way I, I pizza is my default way too frequently, unfortunately. 
or fortunately. I don't know. I I had I just went to this place, this veggie Thai cafe place. It's really really good. I didn't realize it was. It just went up like they they've only been there for like I think they said a month or six months. Like very 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 recently, three months, some amount of time. That's very recent. I'm gonna make your tarmogoy figure, unfortunately. Don't be a land. Okay, a fertile in ground. A Johnny goes to five, he takes one. That's actually fine. We'll do that. And it was very good. That was the point. That was the end of the story. Well, unfortunately, General Tso's is not Thai food. <laughs> that is that is not how Thai food works. Wow, they're just going face? That's how little they care about this Ajani Gold Man. They're like, you know what, man? You can gain whatever you want, buddy. I have no idea what that is. Aw, beans? Is that a Kate Stark emote? That's great. Kate's wonderful. I don't like this. I'm not having a good time anymore. But my Johnny, oh God. That's a great quote, Connor Ryan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get something for four here. I don't know what we have. But we can go Woodfall Primus next turn and kill this Kiora. We kind of have to deal with this Dragon Lord of Tarka. I don't know if you guys knew that. Can I get a Death Touch Spider one time? One Death Touch Spider, that's all I want. I don't think that's a lot to ask for. I don't think a man asking for one death touch spider is really that big of a deal. Two, three. I have no idea what I'm getting here, but I'd like trying to see if there's anything. They're just going to counter this. Mm, four spike, Lotus Cobra, Elves, Corsair, Arbor Elf. All right, Corsair it is. I don't know how we beat this. I think we're just, we're just dead to this, right? Yeah, we're just drawing this and we're dead. I don't know why we're even... What are we even doing here? Yeah, we're going to the next game. Wow, it turns out Natural Order and Dragon Lord of Tarka is a hell of a drug. Do we have anything that deals with that? Deck and Stone. I think Angel's actually pretty good here. Maybe? I mean, they're not going to have a way to kill an Angel of Serenity. It's a 5-6. What are you even going to do about that? Nothing. Nerd. Also, Glare wasn't out. I'll take the Gear Hulk out. Could bring in Terminate. Solid. Solid strategy. Oh, this hand is great. If there were two lands in this hand, I would... Keep it forever. Okay. Well, I did say if there were two lands in this hand. 
I will keep it and bottom you, good sir. I guess this was too good to be true. All right, that's good, because I wanted to get a second white source here, so that's nice. Now we don't have to worry about our green sources. Well, we can kill anything they play, so that's solid. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whenever someone's like, man, this hand would be so good if it wasn't, a, if there was only some lands, I'd be like, yeah, it's all hands are amazing when they're all spells. That's literally every hand ever. Draw any hand of seven spells, I guarantee you the odds of it being, being good or high. Oh, I see. Your little Tarmogoyf's going to get in there and do some damage. That's cool. This back-to-back -back Edric decks, that's something. Uh, the fact is, with with MTGA coming out, you would hope they would look at it. The fact is, because MTGA is coming out, uh, it's very, very unlikely that they would give the attention to Magic Online. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, they have no reason to do that. They're focusing on MTGA, so... They would have to double their efforts and have like people focused on arena and on magic online and i just you know wizards does not have a reputation for really focusing on magic online that heavily as far as i uh i mean not as far as i know they, they don't and so as far as i know though uh i don't foresee them investing any sort of uh strong efforts into magic online when they are focusing so heavily on arena Oh, wow. The old Chromatic Lantern Mirror match. All these are sorceries. This Tarmogoyf is not getting very big. I have six mana. Mirari's Wake. Garrick. Hmm. Have you talked about the Amazon direct sales thing? Any thoughts on that? Not really. I mean, that's all outside of my my area of expertise. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Atarka. Three and two seems good. So now we take two damage from the Tarmogoyf. We're going to kill this, and this is a three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's whenever any player plays a spell. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. All right, so this guy's going to survive and the Tarmogoyf's going to survive, but the Kira and the Jiraga Tree Speaker are going to get nugged if we can hit one land here. And we did. I don't know if you guys noticed that. We did hit a land. This guy is problematic, but uh, it's not that bad when you got an Aleshnorn and they have one card in hand, so. Sower of Temptation. Oh, they just cracked the clue. Dang it. The Great White Massacre Worm. Here we go. Sower of Temptation. They would die immediately, though. That'd be great. Control Magic was one of my cards I drew. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> what do we have? Seven mana? We can get a four, a four, a four guy?
Attack with this guy. Trick me into blocking. Oh, that's good to know that it's gone. That's nice. Council and Declaration in Stone are gone. Angel of Serenity? Search for tomorrow. That's not exciting. What do we have that we can get with Court of Calling here? Three, four. Yeah, we have no issue with attacking Chandra here. Put Shandy to one. That was some loud thunder. One, two, three, four, six, seven. This would be eight. We'd have nine if we hit a land, which gives us six drops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, we can actually get some squirrels. That's actually pretty busted if they don't have an answer. I think we probably just went on the spot with that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't really care about that. Squirrels are five fives, which is pretty nuts. All right, so Wall of Blossoms, you have... Did you just steal us two? Did you not cast it? Interesting. Nothing, huh? I think we can get Gear Hulk too. I think we boarded Gear Hulk out, but what do we get? Tender Shoot Dryad? Tender Shoot Dryad seems really good. Is that just better? What do we have? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. This would be nine. It would make it ten. Oh, they're only 4-4s four because we don't have... Uh... Yes. If they're only 4-4s because we don't have Marari's Wake Out as well. But now you can double block here, which is pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, you can block and kill one, but then we get to kill Chandra, which is pretty important, so. That was an interesting choice to just block the wall of roots. I do not know how I feel about that. I'm going to suspend this. I don't want to cast it yet. I also don't want to make this guy a 6-6. Six, six. Did they think it was an... I don't, that was weird. They're also going to pay cost and play something last turn, but they didn't. I have no idea what this is, but it's probably going to kill us. Woodfall Primus? Yeah, that's fine. This Mana Gorge or Hydra is getting pretty problematic. They just kill our Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I feel like Dryad would have been pretty strong here. God, this thing has trample too. Tender shoot dryad. Sun petal grove. Yeah, just play cobra here. Next turn we get a bunch of mana in case we draw like a seven drop or something. No, 
no land. All right. Or no, no spell. They just played land. All right. That's not going to do it. I don't want to add that now. That's silly. Okay. Well, that's also a little silly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are seven lands left in our deck. Like, if they go block, 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 they take 12. It's just not going to do it, unfortunately. I don't care about that, except for the fact that it makes your Mana Gorge Ray 9-9. Angel of Serenity. That's actually pretty okay. Although if the Woodfall Primus dies, it's awkward. If we attack now, they just block 3, they hit 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Not there yet. They might attack with Woodfall Primus just to get the Marari's Wake off the board. I might just take four because of that. I mean, if they're just waiting for Crater Hoof, they'll probably just kill us. Kiora. Obnoxious, but fine. I agree. I think the uh, the Tenderfoot Dryad, but I did want to get the Chandra off the board. Like, I think Chandra being on the board when it's a top deck war uh, is extremely relevant. Oh, they didn't actually plus Kiora. That's interesting. I'm not sure how we can deal with this. I don't know if... I think we have... I think we boarded out Song, didn't we? No, we still have Song of the Dryads in our deck. And we still have a Johnny Unyielding. So we definitely have a couple answers to this thing. And Angel of Serenity. I think we boarded an Angel of Serenity, too, so... Oh, I see. Well, that's actually fine. It kills Marari's Wake, and it kills probably just Marari's Wake and two of their lands, maybe. But we do get a 5-5 five, five Elephant out of it? Sure. And they get two one horned Elephants? Yeah, this is actually okay. Like, we don't actually need the mana for anything, so... We have nine mana right now. Oh, yes. That's pretty boss. Um, we just steal all of these, right? And then they just... They don't have a fish in anything. And we have no creatures in our graveyard. Like, literal zero, so... Yep. This is what we're gonna do. Get rid of you. Oh, and they can see it. <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. Did we not win game one? I think I swore we won game one. Oh, no, I think they... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that was definitely a good choice on our part. I can see Marshall Coup coming in. I don't think we need it, though. Like, they don't go that wide. We go wider than they do, so... I'm going to keep this. This is rough, but they don't really have many ways to deal with the Dryad other than, like, Dragon Lord of Tarka, it looked like. Pay costs. Well, that was interesting. Did they play the wrong land? I wonder if they have... Oh, I bet they have Draga Tree Speaker in hand, and they just either played the wrong land or forgot this wasn't coming into play tapped. Untapped, rather. Draga Tree Speaker. Rattle Claw? Sure. It's actually pretty good. We're one turn away, though, unfortunately. If we hit, like, a Rampant Growth or a Fertile Ground, it would have been amazing, because then we get turn five, Tender Shoot, turn three, Tender Shoot, Dryad, turn four, Marari's Wake, or vice versa, even. Man, we are on the... Uh, a Lesh Norn train here. 
Oh boy, Eleshnoin's so strong. That was an interesting. Eleshnoin off the top. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Lucky, 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 lucky. Yeah, now we're probably gonna Marari's wake here. Yeah, it was, uh, and they also missed two land drops, which is. So we just have to fade two turns. Can we do it? They get four mana if they pump this. Next turn they'll have seven thousand mana, which is unfortunate, but. Praise Gaga. Nice. Love it. Also, if we if this survives, we get to play both of these next turn, and it did not. That is sad. Really afraid of this uh, going off here. <laughs> it's pretty good. Are we just going to lose to this? That's pretty sad. Council's Judgment. One time. Okay, next turn we should have enough on board to really uh, do the deed, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have. We should. This should give us City's Blessing right now. Yep. So next turn we can Norn. One, two, three, four, five. They only have six mana. So I don't think we're in. We're not in Woodfall Primus territory, which is nice, but that doesn't do anything anyway. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna win Slam Dragon Lord of Tarka like they do every single game. <sighs> One turn behind. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Kill these two, maybe. That's super frustrating. Just had to have beast within. Actually, we still got to hit this though. No, we don't because they make one. Yeah, I mean we get no because then they block here. Yep, doesn't. Do... Yeah, they're just gonna go off next turn. Yep, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Like they just block the one that we don't. Had to have natural or had to have beast within. Okay. literally can't win now that's unbelievable man we have outs to this this is just emblems next turn and kills us we have zero outs Sure, we can. And then they block one, and this one deals no damage. I, yeah, you guys are missing the point. Like, this doesn't deal damage. That's literally what Kiora does. And then this guy doesn't deal any damage, so. Yep. They just had to have Dragon Lord of Tarka. Like, they had to have Natural Order and Beast Within. If they didn't have those, we get Leshnorn down a turn sooner and they can't do anything. And. Yep. Yep, to the surprise of no one. Just make seven sevens for the rest of the game. Jesus.
Jesus. Are you kidding me? Welcome to Joke City. Unbelievable. Cyberdrack, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> so stupid. Like, again, like, I mean, I hate to go over the, the odds, but, like, they had to have Beast Within. They had to have Natural Order. Both of those. They had it both. Well, having one or the other doesn't do it. And then they had to have... We, we had to draw this the literal turn after we needed it. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not sure there's anything we can actually draw here. Maybe, like, um... We have a chump blocker here, and this guy doesn't do anything, and they have one card. Um, I think an angel might be a very, very good draw. Also, Marshall Koo kills Aleshnorn, and it, they just start making Krakens, and we have 1-1s one on board. Like, it, that's Marshall Koo's really not where I want to be. Like, Angel of Serenity sounds great. Um, <sighs> Jesus. I don't think we can beat this emblem. Sorry. Yep. Didn't attack with the Kraken. Sure. Like you do. Forest should help. Agreed. Agreed. Well, they already had blue mana, so the forest, the tropical island wasn't super necessary. You just come in and kill this guy? Sure. Does drawing deck and stone do anything? It gets rid of these, yeah. It actually, I mean, it gives us a reasonable clock. Deck and stone is reasonable. Angel of Serenity is what we want to draw, so we can get rid of all the krakens. It's actually very good. Yeah, this is why we this is why we do it. Yeah, I was thinking of getting Tender Shoe Dried, but I actually don't think this is dying, so. Attack your face, attack your face. And this deals, what, four? Four, five, six, seven. So if we attack Sarkon with everything, I think we're actually, it's, it's actually pretty okay to do. Right, like they go block here, block here, it takes six. If we attack your face, you're getting 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <clears throat> if you block the two big things, you're taking 6, you're going to 14, and it's a two-turn clock. I don't really care about you shooting something for 4. Because you are in pretty much top deck mode. Romance. 
Yeah, sure. Peace out, creatures. Yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn here. Yeah? You get one blocker, so you're almost dead on board if you... Sure. Are you just dead? Are you just dead? Sarkhan gives them cards at the beginning of their end step, right? Or their draw step, so that doesn't even do anything. They block here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh my god. Guys... I want to tell you about our Lord and Savior, Angel of Serenity. Yep, you take 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, you are dead, my friend. This is why we don't scoop it up, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons for this one. That was a sick, sick victory. That was insane. Um, don't F6. Why? They had no cards in hand. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. Anyway, check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can support my content there. Really appreciate it. That was a great match. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.